Hey guys. Today we're going to do a Q&A. So, this should get interesting. Um, we have some questions that some of you guys asked, and then I have some questions for Ellie. And I think she might have some questions for me too. I do, I have questions. Um, so, I'm going to ask him a question, then he's going to ask me a question. So we're just going to go back and forth. Yeah. So, um, and I'll mix it up for from questions that I have for her and questions from you guys. So, yeah. Same. Same. All right. Okay. So, the first question I have is Do you like to compete with each other? That's a question for like Between us. me and you? To, like, would you say, like, do we like to compete with each other? So we like, I like to compete. I'm very competitive, but I don't usually compete against you. Yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, like, I have the same perspective. I don't think that we compete with one another. I think we like, we both compete against ourselves, unless, but unless we bring it, out the best in each other. Like we push each, push each other. <laughs> yeah, I can talk. We push, <laughs> we push each other to be like better in whatever we're doing. So like we're competitive within ourselves, but I feel like our part are like. Yeah, unless M it comes to e checkers, then she's competitive. Yeah. Yeah. But normally like if we play games, honestly, most time like if we play Xbox or something, we're playing games, we play together, yeah. not versus each other. We're not competitive against each other. Yes. I feel like I'm a lot more competitive than she is, but. Yeah, I'm not competitive at all. I feel like I'm harder on myself than anything, so. Yeah. All right, my turn. If you guys hear a dog in the background. That's waffles. Yeah. All right, what is your most embarrassing favorite song? Embarrassing? I don't think I have an embarrassing. You don't have an embarrassing favorite song? No. Mine is Firework by Katy Perry. That's a good yeah, song. That's a good, that's a good, that's I like that song. But you have, to, you have to say one. You have to try and think of one. I don't think. Um. All right. If you don't know let that, let me look at my playlist. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at my playlist. Cause I have a. I'm so. I have like a variety of different songs. Um. And I'm looking at it right now. Oh, did um, you like that song? It's Friday. No, I told you about the song. You don't like that. Song. I don't like that song. Um. That's a really bad song. Um. I don't know that song. Um, I have, <laughs> this is an old one, but I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, but I have WAP by Cardi B. Oh, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's, I would, no, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, because, like, if you know, you know. So, yeah. Okay, now, next question. Um, one friend that you're thankful for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, not counting you, uh, probably my dad. Yeah. yeah, my dad's probably my closest yeah. friend. So. That's, that's good. Or both my parents, my mom too. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, this one's from you guys. Any Netflix recommendations? Netflix. I have to think Netflix. What's on Netflix? Um, I have one. Uh, well, I guess it depends on what you're into, but I really like the uh, Resident Evil on Netflix. That was actually really cool. What was that one? I feel like we watched a lot of different ones on um, Netflix. I don't, I don't, I'm not really good with titles. And there's the one. It's like Red Dot or something like that. It's got The Rock in it. Mm. That's on Netflix. That was really cool. Is it on Netflix? It was. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know because I, I have to like go oh, on there. There's to... one on Netflix that we both really like. It's called Shadow and Bone, I think. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. one was really that, cool. that one was really good. And then The Witcher. The Witcher is really good. The Witcher's on Netflix. The Witcher's on Netflix. Um, Shadow and. Yeah, it's called Shadow and Bone uh, what on was that Netflix. One? That's really um, cool. There's, I feel like there's more than that, but I just can't think of it yeah. at the top of my head, so we can just move on from that. Um, Oh, God's favorite idiot. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that one's was on good. Netflix. That, that one's pretty that good. That one's really, really yeah. funny. It's really, really funny. funny. Um, this one, um, 
let's see this question the longest time you've ever gone without showering oh so one time when i was like i don't know like nine or ten i think i went like a week and my mom was like really mad <laughs> i remember i think it was like a week or it might have been longer i don't even remember and i told her and she like i almost got in trouble but now i shower every day at least twice sometimes three times but at least twice yeah in same. the morning and at night because i can't I don't like going anywhere and not having showered. Mm -hmm. Even the gym, I don't like. I, I usually shower before I go to the gym, and then in the evening before I go to bed, or well, before I eat and then go to bed, I can't. I have to shower. Yeah. So. Yeah. Same. Okay. Uh, what sport or activity would you like? Wait, hold on. What's the longest you've gone without showering? The longest I've gone. I think I've told you this. I say like. Yeah, two, but they don't know. Two, uh, two or three at max. I think three at max. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think too. <clears throat> what sport or activity would you like to try sometime? What sport or activity would I like to try sometime? That you haven't. That I haven't. Mm. I, I feel like I would like to try CrossFit. <laughs> and, and a lot of people would probably like to CrossFit. But um, I feel like CrossFit is very competitive. And I've done CrossFit in the past before, like classes and stuff. And I enjoyed it, but I've never like competed in CrossFit, so that would be fun. Okay, that's a fair answer. Uh, I'm supposed to be playing some semi-pro football hopefully this spring summer. I've played football most of my life, but I've never played organized football. So. Yeah, but a sport that you haven't played that you. A haven't sport played. that I haven't played that I want to play. Honestly, there isn't any anything that I've ever wanted to do. Like I've actually tried it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel part. like lacrosse would be fun just for like the experience. There are several sports that I would probably be interested in playing like more in, like... more in depth. Yeah, yeah. So like I would be fun to like join a like a like a summer basketball league. Yeah. I've never actually done that. You know, yeah, that that'd be, be fun. fun. Yeah. But or it might be fun. You to know, do, you like... know what I'm scared of? I feel like I'm scared to try new things because I'm, I know I'm gonna suck in the beginning. But I've always wanted to try um, like. I've never, I've never like actually played tennis, and that's something that I would like to try. Yeah. And like, I mean, I, I played, like, I know how to play some like volleyball and stuff like that, but I'm not like, I've never been consistent to actually yeah. play with like a group of people and actually like be good. Yeah. So I feel like there's several things I would like to try, but I feel like on the top, let's, I'd say CrossFit. Yeah. Just, okay. Okay, my turn to ask question. Um. A place you've always wanted to travel. Travel to? Like travel to. Egypt. Yeah, I think that'd be sick. In the US probably it's like Colorado or Hawaii. Yeah. But overall I would love to go to Egypt. Uh, or New Zealand. I think Hawaii. For me it's Hawaii. Yeah, that'd be pretty just, cool. Oh, okay. What about you? Hawaii? Yeah, Hawaii. I say Hawaii. Uh this is from you guys. Are you gonna get a tattoo? I'm not getting a tattoo. I'm on the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're <laughs> not getting get a tattoo. tattoo. No. Okay. So I have another question. What is something you want to do together but haven't? Probably travel more. And um, we want to go to Red River Gorge in yeah. Kentucky. It's like a place to hike. It looks really pretty, but we haven't been there yet. Yeah. I've been wanting to go there for the longest time. <laughs> but. We will hopefully. Yeah. It's hard soon. to go. It's hard to hike in the summer because it's so buggy and hot. It's like not. Yeah, it's not as enjoyable. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So maybe we can go this winter. It's kind of far from us though, so that's why. Yeah. yeah. It's like two hours. Yeah, it's it's a drive, but it'd be worth it whenever we get the chance to go. Is there anything you can think of? Um. All right, who is a better driver? Who is a better driver? Yes. That's a, I feel like we're both pretty good drivers. I'm not gonna say there's one that's better than the other. I, I would say that we're both good. I mean, sometimes you, you know. But I feel like that can happen to anyone when they're not paying attention. I wouldn't say you're you a bad driver. You wanna tell them what you said yesterday? 
I told you you're okay. So yesterday <laughs> we were in the car and I said someone that, honked. Uh, and someone I don't know who they were honking at. I don't okay, think it was me. Seth, you asked me and I'm responding and you're like, well, hold on, I didn't tell you guys. Okay, so anyways, yesterday Seth was was driving and he got honked at and I'm like, no, someone honked. I don't think it was me. But someone well, honked. someone honked. And I said, why are they honking? Why are they honking? And I said, because you're a bad driver. No, because you just said, because you suck Cause, at driving. Because Okay, because you suck at driving. Okay. okay. But from like my peripheral, <laughs> it looked like the car was honking at him because he was too far to like the right lane and there was like cars going in that lane. So I. But the reason I, I was far over is because other people were turning left and about to hit us. So. Okay, anyway, so let's move on from All the right, question. That question. <laughs> that question was okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um Oh. What's something you used to believe about relationships but no longer do? Um It's a hard one. I would say this. This is just gonna be Kind of like, a, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times guys get married to girls and they expect them to do everything around the house or whatever. And that's not really, uh, your wife didn't marry you because she wanted a son, she married you because she wanted a husband. So she doesn't want to have to take care of you. So I would say, try your best to help out. That would be, but I never really believed that way. I just think that that's the way a lot of people think. Yes, that, yes. That, I did, yeah, that's, you know. a, that's a very good one. But I feel like, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. It just, it requires, to keep a house nice and clean and stuff, it requires both people. Um, wow. So. <laughs> that's really good. I can't think of anything, so I'm not going to answer. <laughs> okay, you can. Uh, this is from you guys. What is your favorite hobby? And I'm going to say outside the gym. What's your favorite hobby? because we both love going to the gym, so. I feel like a hobby that I enjoy is baking. I love baking, but I just sometimes don't have the time to always bake. So I really like enjoy those moments where I'm just baking and I, I like trying new things, but you know, I don't know. I like baking, yeah. that, that'd be my hobby. That's good. Yeah. What about you? Um. Man, I'm gonna be honest, this is really tough. Because if it's outside of the gym, that's pretty much what we do in our free time. And then, uh, I would say watching or playing like sports, but that's kind of like, I guess that counts, right? Yeah, that okay. counts. Yeah, then watching or playing sports. Waffles, seriously. If you guys can hear that, I apologize. It's okay, it's okay, yeah. it's okay. Um, Okay, so next question. Um, how did you guys meet? Uh, at the gym, kind of. At the gym. So I had LASIK <laughs> surgery done, and um, after I had my LASIK surgery done, I had my post-op appointment in Seymour. And so the next day when I went to the gym, or when I went to the <laughs> <My> doctor, doctor. <laughs> um, Ellie was behind the front desk and she was checking me in and checking me out. That's what I said. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, I was checking him in. So, yeah, so she checked me in and then I had my appointment or whatever. And then, like, a week or so later, I ended up seeing her at the gym that I went to. And she started going to that gym. Yeah. And then when she left the gym that day, I didn't talk to her. She didn't talk to me. When she left the gym that day, she sent me a message on Facebook. And she knew my name because she looked me up at the eye doctor. Yeah, so I, I was <laughs> a little stalker. Yeah. But I um, sent him a message and it just went from there. Yeah, and then we started talking a little bit and then we hung out at the gym and then we yeah. started hanging out more. Yeah. The rest is history. Right. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I, I always say she was the first person I saw with my new eyes because she was really the first person I saw. Other than my parents at the house, she was the first person I saw. Uh, after. And it was during COVID, you guys. Yeah. It was during COVID. Only saw was my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> like I just think I, <laughs> I just think that's funny. It's yeah. just like wow. Yeah. I always it's but you know what? Like 
during COVID, a lot happened. And this is like completely off, off, off like whatever this, the story or whatever, but like a lot happened during COVID and I, like Seth and I were training at the gym and during COVID I broke my foot. Yeah. And he went, he took me to the ER and we took a picture together with our mask and that was our first picture ever. Yeah. I'm gonna have to like put that one here somewhere because that was like our first picture ever was during COVID and we were at the ER because I fractured my first metatarsal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what is a talent that you think I should cultivate? A talent. So what's something that you think I'm good at but I don't? I, I could be a lot better at it if I worked at it. Something that you can be better at if you work on it. Um, baking, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am a good cook. Not, yeah, you can, not you good can, at baking. Yeah, um, I feel like there's like a lot of traits that you have that you could be good at that you that you can Basketball. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> so like, Ellie, he's not bad, but he's not, <laughs> he's not great. <laughs> the first time Ellie saw me play basketball afterwards, she said she was embarrassed. So that means I'm pretty bad at basketball. But she didn't but, say that about football. Yeah, yeah, he's he's good at football from what I've you know seen so far. So <laughs> okay, next question. What activity do you enjoy together? Probably. There's like a like lot of things. I would say spending time with one another, but yeah. we spend we spend we spend a lot of time with each other. Uh, the gym, the hiking. Gym. hiking. We like to watch movies. Yeah. We like to, we like cheat days together. We like cheat days together. Um. Spending time yeah. together, we just love spending time with each other. <laughs> playing video games. Oh yeah, we like checkers. playing video games, playing games like checkers. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We like doing everything together, but. Yeah, two peas in the pod. Yeah. Um, uh, my turn. This is from you guys. What's the worst movie you've ever watched? I, I'm assuming they mean lamest, not like the worst. I know oh, why. Yeah, yeah. Mine is tw uh, 2012. Is the, the movie 2012? Oh yeah, I don't I was like, like. Yeah, I don't dumbest movie I've ever watched in my There's life. There's a lot of movies that I'm just like, like, why did I waste an hour to watch? Yeah. There's a lot of those out there. There's a lot of time I wish I had back. Mm. Best advice you can give to someone single. Oh, they'll probably hate me for this, but I always heard when you know, you know. And I thought that was so stupid and I hated when people say that. But it actually, once you understand it, it makes sense. So I would just say, when you know, you know. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Don't rush things. Fine. Uh, like, a lot of people think they're only, like, validated whenever they're with someone else. And if you feel that way, then you need to spend time working on yourself. Not, uh, who you're with doesn't determine your worth who you are determines your work. So focus on uh, becoming a better version of yourself. And once you find your true worth within yourself, then you'll be ready to be with someone else. That's what I'm Yeah, self-love. You have to learn to love yourself before you can love others. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got some deep questions. I have all these <laughs> lame ones. Okay, yeah, here, this is from you guys. It says, would you leave your significant other for a celebrity? Anyone who asks that question doesn't know what it really means to be married. So that's obviously no. I'm not gonna count that question. I get to ask you another question. Well, <laughs> would you leave me for a celebrity? <laughs> never, okay. never, never. Unless it was Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, be, okay, guys. This that's one my says, that's oh. my celeb crush. <laughs> yeah. Dwayne Johnson. That's, <laughs> that's everyone's celebrity crush. That's, yeah. That's your celeb that's crush. My, this one says <laughs> opinion on birds. I don't know what they mean by that. Didn't you get a question like that too? Opinion yeah. on birds. 
I mean, I don't necessarily know like what they mean by birds. I know some people believe that they're like. Yeah, some people know. believe birds aren't real and that they're just like uh, government security cameras. I don't. I think birds are real. Okay. But, I like cardinals. Yeah, yeah, cardinals. Yeah, blue jays. Um, <laughs> All types of birds. Um, uh, what is your shoe size? Mine is 11 or 11 and a half. Mine is, I think, six and a half or seven. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How do you handle arguments? How do I handle them? Like, how do we handle arguments? I get really quiet, and she just goes upstairs and goes to bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. 6 p.m. <laughs> okay, okay, but I don't think that's what it means. I think the question's like... It's that like doesn't when normally you, when last, it, The thing is, like, when you when arguments occur, which arguments, we don't really argue, we just have disagreements. But I feel like we're we're both very good at just apologizing. Yeah, I, words. She she may and go upstairs and go to bed at six, but by six thirty she's back down like. Apolo to yeah, talking, communicating. I yeah. I don't think it's healthy to. We've never went to bed mad at each other. Ex ever. Yeah. So like exactly. Just, so like. Yeah. It's like when moments of like disagreements occur, just communicate your feelings with your significant other, or if you don't, if you're not up to talk. Just wait, weigh it out, and then talk to your significant other. But I don't think it's healthy for you or your significant other because you know it's gonna make you feel bad, and you know it's gonna make them feel bad. So it's always good to apologize and um, you know try to communicate with one another. Um, I've got two questions. I can ask more, but I don't want the video to be super, super long. Yeah, it's, so it's I'll fine. I'll just ask two more. Okay. okay. Alright, what is your favorite PR song? My favorite? Thunderstruck, of course. Yeah, ACDC, that's a good go. Song. <laughs> Thunderstruck. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, mine might be Lose Yourself. By oh Andrew. yeah, that was good. That yeah. was good. Or, um, uh, Till I Collapse by Eminem, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Good. Yeah. Or Go by Netflix. I don't know, I got a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. It just depends. It so, depends. Um, you're, go ahead, ask me. Favorite food spot? Uh, probably New Bethel Ordinary in yeah. Indianapolis. Well, it's like on the southeast side, but they have really good pizza and burgers, burgers. and wings. They have, and fries. They have really, really good food. So mm -hmm. that's probably my favorite, like all time favorite spot. Yeah, I would, I would for, say this for food. For food. Yeah. I'd go with the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What actress would play you in a movie about your life? <laughs> that's tough. That's a great question. Are you gonna answer my question? No, no, you have to answer. Who would play like? Who would play yourself in a movie about your life? Man, that's a hard one. That is a really tough one. I would say Selena Gomez. That's a good. That's so, a good. So well, because Selena Gomez just. That's a good answer. Man, she's been through so much. I feel like she, I honestly think that like, she's a good actor. So I like go with her. Yeah. I'd say maybe like Tobey Maguire. Or, uh, yeah, probably don't Okay. Do you want to send me one more question? Well, I kind of want, I'll end this with this. Like, any advice, I, I'll, I can just end it with this one. Um, any advice for couples, married, or like someone single? Like, what's an advice you can give to someone or a couple? Or, um, I would just say. Like, if you have something to say, don't hold it in. Well, no, oh, yeah. hold on. I okay. think I know exactly what you're going to say. Right. Be, be honest with each other, is what I'm saying. 
Don't, not, not, if you're, if you're wanting to say something negative to your spouse, yeah, hold that in. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is like, if you, if you need to talk to them about something, if something's bothering you, or if you just need to talk to them about something, be honest about it and like, don't, I would just say communication. Communication is key yeah, in any like, relationship. And I think that's a great advice because sometimes I deal with like anxiety and stuff like that. And sometimes I, when I'm very anxious, I, I tend to be very, um, not the best person to be around but i feel like if i communicate how i'm feeling it helps a lot because it's a, one of those things where like i there's no expectations there it's kind of like okay she has anxiety i know how she is when she has anxiety and i i know to give her her space so you have to almost like understand one another and allow each other space but also communicate how you're feeling so you don't make your significant other feel bad I would also say uh, make, because I know it's easy. It's easy for us because we don't have kids or anything like that. But for people that do, I think it's super important that you make time for your significant other. So like, Ellie and I spend all day together pretty much when we're not at work and we're working out together and doing stuff like that. But for me, like I'm a guy, so when I'm working out with her, I'm spending quality time with her. But to her, that's not quality time together. She actually wants to like, spend time together so yeah and for me like i don't i don't get that like but but i i do try and make time out of my day to just spend it with her whether it's like we yeah. eat dinner together or we watch a movie together yes. or whatever we're just spending so, time like understanding what quality time means from like a different perspective and it's different for everyone that. yeah it's different for everyone so it's good to like know like what do you consider quality time because it's not it might not be the same with like your significant other yeah and um I, I would say that's like the best advice for like married and and i understand some people can't maybe not be able to do that every day but try and do it a couple times a week or once a week or whatever but it's super important because if you don't do it it's, it's going to create problems in your marriage yeah. or any relationship so you want to make your significant other feel loved <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and for like single single people advice oh single hang in there <laughs> <laughs> no don't settle yeah it's better to be uh single and wish you were married than married and wish you were single so don't settle and just wait for the right person and uh, it'll eventually happen yeah. it took him a couple of years to find me <laughs> i was single i was single from like 18 or 19 till i was like 26 so like so. seven like seven years, seven years. yeah so, and it's different for everyone. Oh, Amazon. All right. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the questions that we have so far. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, all we'll right. see you guys next we'll see time. You guys next time. Peace. Peace.